Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, featuring today a 1 vs 1 on somewhat again. Yes, this time, though, less rain and thunder, just sort of more dry streets. <coughs> and I've also got a better fan now, so things will be a lot less hot for me and a much more manageable and bearable. But fighting shall be in the southern corner. F yeah, I don't know how I'm bloody well supposed to pronounce that. Fighting though for the Americans, fighting for the 3rd Infantry Division, ready to fight for Uncle Sam, going for the 4 Engineer start already. Hussar opposing him shall be Go Pepsi Live. Fighting for the Wehrmacht, ever present Wehrmacht, ever sort of most numerous faction, probably one of the easier to handle, sort of for novices alongside the Americans. But of course, also just a lot more players just favor <laughs> the Americans and the Wehrmacht. For Pepsi, he shall be fighting once more for the 17th SS, just like the match before. It's sort of imagine they're sort of part of a larger fight. Either way, though, I mean, some players just have more trouble with the British and the Panzer Elite. And of course, in some ways, they just prefer either more. I mean, it's sort of also personal preferences. As well as some just don't like the British or the Panzer Elite, and they're rubbish. Personally, I don't really think that there might, of course, be some slight issues, but I mean, overall, they're quite fun to play. All of them. All four of them. I just prefer the Wehrmacht because, well, Grenadiers, Volksgrenadiers, Panzer Force, Sturmgeschütz. I mean, essentially, I mean, if the Panzer Elite had more Sturmgeschütz, I'd probably like them as well quite much. Not that the Panzer Elite is dull either. I mean, Panzer Grenadiers, Fallschirmjägers, Luftwaffe troops. Anyways, back to the fight. Pretty aggressive start. I mean, that's usually why you go for the four engineer start. That's essentially you know, to secure as much territory as possible, be as much of a bother as possible. And well, hello there. Hello. This is a bit unusual. I mean, go Pepsi Live, gone for two pioneers, and then he goes straight for a sniper. That's definitely not what I recommend. I mean, don't try this at home unless you're actually ranked 16 yourself. I mean, this is some. Um, Pretty aggressive stuff and some pretty ballsy stuff. Taking up position in the church. Good old sniper in the church tower, but no, he quickly moves on, just doing a bit of quick reconnaissance. Not a bad idea. I mean, a building does increase the range of sight, and that way you can just you know, quickly pop in, spot out, see what's going on, and then move on. And I imagine this will be a much more viable strategy in company to too, what with true sight and buildings probably being able to offer much. Father range of sight, but there we go. Bike opening up, sniper on the way as well. Rifleman down, bike sort of finding a way, keeping the rifleman at bay from the sniper, and of course also doing damage with its MG if he can fire. Two men already down, sniper keeps pulling away. Bike opens up, almost down to half health for the rifle, down to half health, down to three men. Bike taking minor damage, pioneers moving up, probably to repair the bike. Shav shoots it already, putting himself to be quite the bastard. Ting up is in the church. Oh, misses though. Nice shot from the bit bell tower. And a bit of engagement right here. We are seeing a pretty aggressive mine from. He sounds like he's out of Cthulhu, by the way. Cthulhu. The Elder, one of terrible names. Anyways, MG42 pull back. Sniper opening up, still bike though, die need repairs, rifle going down, still Pioneer, bike, MG, not the MG's farther away but the bike, MG, bike might be going down, Pioneer setting up position, oh Pioneer down to one man in fact, they need to retreat all of them, weak soog mena, weak soog, last Pioneer quickly escapes the building, Pioneer's, uh, engineer's trying to get the sniper, point going there, bit of harassment going on but finally we are seeing some infantry out for go Pepsi live, and surprisingly enough, his bike is actually also still there. Oh, quite a bit damaged. So far, pretty solid start. More. He's really attempting to sort of be very aggressive with the mines right around here. This sort of usual exit spot for the northern base. Not very often you see that, but I mean, it can be really effective. But thankfully, for at least for Go Pepsi, he's sort of you know, also pushing onwards and rather spotting all of this nonsense going on. Engineers getting pushed back, the bikes of the 17th Ram are doing what they can, 3rd Infantry Division going onwards. Bike could use a bit of repairs though again. Got a slightly more solid push from the east. 
Snipers should also soon be ready. Yes, indeed, six kills already. That's quite nice. He's quick learning himself in. That's definitely also a good move. As a sniper is expensive, and generally, though, if you lose him before that, that's going to be a pretty huge waste of resource. Mine right down there. MG going up. To f pushing onwards, and I. Oh, I really don't like that name. I mean, it's an absolute bastard to pronounce. Or I mean, to sort of, you know, vocalize. As I'm not really sure that's supposed to be pronounced even. But Rifleman taking heavy losses to the Schweres MG. Pioneer's moving up with mines, but of course he has been aware that Mr. F F F is pretty aggressive when it comes to mines, and of course in that way getting a mines wheel pretty early on tends to be a good idea. MG might want to set up to support the Volkswagen and the Sniper. No, he's going for the point. Earlier Pepsi, focus, focus. Oh, Sniper's go. Engineer's taking heavy losses. Could Pepsi get it? MG opening up. Oh dear, MG was simply too slow, and there we go, retreating the other way around again. Sniper misses, but it kills. Further fighting up here, getting pinned down by the MG42. And we are seeing a pretty swift move towards weapons. Oh, he cancels it. Decides he probably wants to go for the armored cars, not trying to play the sniper game against Go Pepsi Live, who is a pretty high ranked player, by the way. Rank 16 with Wehrmacht, or level 16, and I'm pretty sure he's in the top 10 with the Americans. Uh, that is level 17. So, I mean, he's not exactly the Pepsi Max Stringer. He goes for full bodied Pepsi, or whatever you might say. No diet for him. Anyways, Krieg bags going out. Of course, go Pepsi as well, sort of figuring, well, my opponent hasn't gone for anything that might sort of give the impression he's going for not for armored cars. Of course, I'm going for the Krieg bags. I'm going for a pack to stop his armored car nonsense. Which is rather how you want it. Bike still there. One kill so far. Sniper could be opening up on these riflemen, but no. False guys moving in from the south. A bit of barbed wire here to cover the flanks. Good. A mine here would be an excellent choice by Go Pepsi. Going for the point. Sniper setting up. For the kill. And he got the squad leader. Jolly good move. And another rifleman bites of dust. Ten kills for the sniper. That's going to be pretty nice. Bike could be moving into support. No, just sort of leading the way for the MG42. Other one moving up. I mean, one MG, two MGs, one full squad, one bike, and one sniper. Pretty unusual start, but it seems to be sort of working for Go Pepsi. Although again, he's also facing off against three flamethrowers, and I mean, if they hit the right way, this. It could easily turn up very badly for Monsieur Pepsi. Mine there. Good, good. Oh, Minesweepers though following up. That's less fortunate. Mine's going down right here. Nice spot right there in the crossroads. On the And another fellow gets sniped. False guns quickly pulled back. Well, the no, the bike's actually not moving up to support. No, he's actually sneaking about here. He might hit the MG in the... F oh, the MG's not even set up! The MG's not even set up, but further fighting continues here. Half-track arriving for Go Pepsi. Motor pull up, armored car on the way. 14 kills, half-track fires away. Already scoring one kill with the bike deals with some harassing engineers. Ooh, more riflemen going down. Sniper really earning his pay. Oh! Engineer squad trying to cut the wire got absolutely murdered by the MG42, leaving the rifleman sort of oh bother. Not good at all, kind of yes, arriving now for Go Pepsi Live. No Panzer Abwehr Kanone. Meaning basically tank defense gun. Engineers, Engineers getting hunted down with the half tank, or are they? Car, and bike facing off against three rifle, but seems to be having a bit of trouble finding the spot to fire from. It's now a bit further pulled back. 15 kills. Armored car ready. Armored skirts on the way. Half tag moving against those damnable engineers. And the MG42 is in a slightly unfortunate position if the rifle actually attack. Ooh, rifle getting caught up with the false gunners and the grenadiers right in the cemetery. Panzerjack not really doing a lot of damage. Rifleman going down and quickly being pushed off. 
too much crowd. But the armor car springs an ambush on the half track. Half track not really in a good condition. And it's having trouble since the armor car keeps ramming it, ensuring it can't get away. Grenadier Sam moving in with a panda check, but I'm not entirely sure it will be enough in time. Flame for a sword going in. Oh, the sniper runs into the church right as it happens, but he gets one engineer. Armored car looks like he might be getting away. And the half track goes up in the flames. Engineer suffering exasperating losses to the sniper in the tower. Trying to catch that armored car, but the panzer checks just can't connect. Keep missing. More gun it is. In fact, arriving for Go Pepsi Live. So that's three infantry squads. One might be an idea to consider starting getting a medic bunker up. Oh, 50 cavalry is actually suppressing the grenadiers. It can happen. Flame for engineers moving up. They could be lost in the meanwhile. Oh, full retreat right there. MG42 moving up. That might not quite work out. I believe we are seeing a pack coming out right there by the base. Half tank is salvaged. MG42 caught up in the house. While it looks like. Of or whatever it is getting a weapon support center now he's probably going to get that counter sniper and trying to get that damn kraut 19 kills he's having fun not so much for and let's go have a look at go pepsi live and my apologies i've got a bit of a cold in this weather yes i know Kampfkraft center up, though veterans have won on the way for the infantry. Armor can actually manage to take a bit of damage now from this anti-tank gun. Pretty don't have... Oh, veterancy too! Nasty that. Although not really much to use it against. Panzerfaust gets the main gun, but doesn't quite knock it out. Ninth... Oh! Bother, he lost the false grenadier squad. He's down to just two infantry squads again this time, no grenadiers. No doctrinal choice. Uh, sniper, sniper getting hunted down at salt going in from the south. Engineers hitting a mine. Rifle moving in in larger force mm, towards the center. Sniper needs to get away. Bike getting repaired. And there we go, full retreat from the center. Bike needs to get out of there, but will it? Makes a bold decision and runs right past them. Looks like it manages, so might be trying to draw it in towards the MG42. And what shall go on in the camp of Go Pepsi Live? Not much, it seems like. The Americans are capturing a sector. Points being secured. Please sorry, move up. Whatever I'm supposed to be calling him, I'll just call him F. Because he's F and annoying. And he is ready with a panzer shrek. Another MG42 on the way. Apparently he lost one. Probably one up there. Unfortunate. And here's with the Pantrek holding out against the armored car, anti-tank gun moving up, but there's not much to really back it up in case something goes wrong. Rifle continues to get sniped, 22 kills. Do we see an American sniper? Yes indeed, hiding behind the fence. A bit too far away to get anyone actually. And points being retaken, Go Pep's Alive getting a nice grip on the map. Mines going down here and there and everywhere. Oh, Riveman could be getting that pa if the pack is not careful, but the Grenadiers are there to cover it. Still no doctrinal choice. And a Goliath ready for Go Pepsi Live. Interesting, he's going for a Goliath. And he moves it. Oh! Bugger! I think that was a bit of a premature detonation. Oh, and he lost a Grenadier squad. Ow. Oh my goodness. 
He lost. That was nasty, and he didn't even get anything from the Americans. Ow. I really think that was the case of basically him just sort of pressing D for detonation a bit too early and then losing simply a lot. I mean, no, never mind, really sort of, you know, moving in the anti tank and then sort of, oh dear, that was an absolute mess. Just terrible. Storm Army going up for Go Pepsi Live. Engineers and pioneers battling it out while Gladiators and a bike move up to assist. Mines going down in the center again. A medic bunker really would help Pepsi, I think. No doctrine as of yet. Engineers getting run off. Slime gets off a nice kill. 25 so far. Looks like Mr. F is setting up for another assault with the third against the position of the 17th. Mines getting spotted while trying to lay down other mines. Pioneers quickly getting run off. And the armored car moves in. But there's nothing to actually stop it. No pack. Gaining an armored car for Go Pepsi Live. And going right straight for the fuel point. In fact, both players are going for each other's fuel point at pretty much the same time. Mine hit. Oh dear, if only Go Pepsi had something to knock it out with. Could finally get rid of this wretched armored car. Sniper getting ready for the big counter snipe. And he is here getting assaulted though by a large flame for a force. Reconnaissance run. Oh, he misses. He misses. Go Pepsi sniper. Oh, the inhumanity because Mr. F has gone for airborne then. Oh, he. Did he lose the Grenadiers? Oh, he lost another Grenadier squad. Oh dear, he must not have pressed retreat. He was trying to probably get the way, so it didn't take a longer route, but no. He gets a sniper though with his own. And the armored car gets his sniper. Oh, the irony. The sniper misses, but the armored car gets the kill. This is looking pretty bad for Go Pepsi Live. He's lost all of his infantry, which is actually quite a bit. And his sniper is down to basically support units. A bike and an armored car. Not really good. To put it mildly. Another armored car on the way. No upgrades on them. Looks like he's gone Blitzkrieg. He might be getting some stormtroopers then to sort of replace all his infantry losses. Oh, bike hits the mine. Amakamu is in, opens up on these rifles and gets off a few good shots right there. They're losing territory. Ready for orders. Second armored car ready. One of our and stormtroopers can be called in now. Mine hit. Rifleman down. Second armor car moving up to support down here, clear out, and there we go, Stoss Trooper on the way. Dual pan tricks to try and get those damn armor cars and finish them off once and for all. They're just upgrading an armor car to a Puma would have done the trick as well. We'll probably also result in that armor car going down a bit quicker now, it's actually getting repaired. Sticky bomb on the armor car. Probably going to damage the engine. There we go. But Pepsi's not giving up. He still has a lot of other units, but he's desperately lacking in the infantry department. And again, a medic bunker would probably have helped him quite a bit. Looks like he killed someone, perhaps up here. Or somewhere else. Not entirely sure. But there we go. Storm was moving in. Dual Pantrex ready. Armored car ready. Moving out. Looks like he might be setting up for something else. A raid on the German base of the 17th. Well, what's happening? What is happening? Anti tank gun moving up, hiding in the bushes. <coughs> Lots of mines right there. MG42 setting up rifle. Ooh, veteran to run for the armored car. That's nice. That's going to reduce damage taken by quite a bit. And the rifle getting caught quite out in the open. Bit nasty that. The enemy is seizing our territory. No enemy in sight. 
Mines, mines, mines. Armor oh, car coming under fire, but the anti tank gun quite, can't quite seem to hit. What is going on with GoPeps Live? Who knows? He's now getting a storm gets shot. Stormtroopers all running straight into the riflemen. Armor car getting blasted by the anti tank gun. Anti tank gun coming under fire from the MD42. Bun grenade on the riflemen. Oh, killing only one, but damn it. Wounding the rest pretty heavily. Panzerjex just can't get the armor car. In fact, well, there we go. One hit. Armor car that quickly needs to get out of there. Pioneers could repair it then. Yeah, all running into the cement church. Oh dear, that armor car is going down. Enemy unit down. More nasty losses, and only one Panzerjek out of two actually connects with the armored car. Although it might hit the mine, it might hit the mine, and yes, out of control. The armored car finally goes down after having done so absolutely much damage. Anti tank and actually got cleared out by the MD42. Sniper pushing on now as well. Mine's getting sweet. Storm gets ready. Might be an idea to get some veterinary for that one as well. Engineers sneaking about on either side. And the pioneers getting rushed. Oh dear, getting pushed off quickly. And an additional stormtrooper squad out for Go Pepsi Live. Thus meaning he does have a bit more in that department. Quite a few miles from F. Supply drops now getting ready for F as well and his airborne forces. A bit pushed back though, going for the points right down there, not really looking good. And looks like a tank depot has gone off for F. He might get a Sherman, he might get an, a tank destroyer. We shall see, but he is getting airborne now. Right down there in the center. Sturmgeschutz leading the way. Stormtroopers following up. Paratroopers here. And Our equipping with the salt bombs, thus really increasing the fire, actually, which is a nice move. And some engineers going down to an armor car up there, I think. Not really looking good. Still no veterans for the Stug. And launching an ambush on the engineers just as they're trying to lay down a mine. Didn't really get any kills off, sadly. A bit quiet at the moment. Probably go Pepsi Lime gauging his chances while Mr. F is probably trying to figure out what to do or perhaps he's waiting for some armor. Definitely a lot of opportunities right there. Strafing run. No recon. Perhaps trying to catch some snipers. No, instead he gets an MG42. Reveals his own sniper. Of course, Pepsi has none. Storm should still not moving though. Hanging back quite passively. Still no veteran to fought either. All a bit quiet at the moment. Large force moving in towards the center and a full retreat for Go Pepsi live. So if he realizes he can't fight that. Do wonder what he is up to. All a bit quiet. More stormtroopers though. Lots of Stosstruppen for the 17th. Points being secured, snipers moving about. Right, our front lines are collapsing. Pepsi a bit on the back foot, although he might still be able to make a move. Moving out again. Still no veterans on the way. And we do have one supply upgrade up for the American commander. That's good. That's good. Both sides a bit quiet, dancing about each other. Armor camos and stormtroops getting ready. Mines down.
And a sniper out for Go Pepsi Live. Oh, these pioneers are not doing too well. What is Go Pepsi up to? I wonder, I wonder. A large stealth force moving in. Snipers and stormtroopers moving in from several angles. Could be trying to get the American sniper. B A is up for F as well. Two rifle squads only. MG opens up. Oh, and anti tank and opens up on the armor car, doing quite a bit of nasty damage. Getting a second sniper. That's pretty mean. Still seems like Go Pepsi is being a bit cautious. He's not quite pushing in. I have no idea what he's actually intending to do. He's got something going on in the Stuart Armory, but I have no idea what. Rather than coming under heavy fire. Quickly retreating into the church. Stormtroopers now slowly advancing. Attempt out in the south, but a mine hit does stop that attempt. Armor car moving in. In fact, he has two armor cars again. Engineer squad ready. Cautious movement. Very cautious, in fact, by Go Peps Alive. He's making the attack, but it's more of an infiltr infiltration move. Seems like he stopped using the Sturm Armory for some reason. Oh, armor car taking heavy damage from the recoilless rifles. And again, it seems like Pepsi is playing very passively. Airborne. Oh dear, looks like they're running straight into the base of Pepsi. And his armor car is in a lot of trouble. Yasing veterans on the way. Barracks getting pelted with a crawlish rifle fire. Will the other one move in to assist? Veteran T2 up for his armor cast. I'm not sure why that, because armor cars don't really benefit from Veteran T2. I mean, Veteran T4 assault guns might have been a better idea. Even Veteran T2 does more. Besides giving an MG, it also in fact gives Sturm Geschütz a health bonus. But there we go. Second armor car arriving, opening up. Satchel charge on the Sturm Armory. Airborne getting pelted. Oh dear. He might actually be losing his airborne. Second armor car moving right in. Oh dear, he got actually shot down while in mid air, leaving behind the recoilless rifle for Pepsi to secure. He's still armory though in a pretty bad condition, but still. And um, what is going on here? We're seeing a four barracks going up. We're also seeing a medic station though. That's pretty great. A medic station's always nice to have. A good move right there by Mr. F. Though, interesting enough, he has had a tank depot for quite some time, but he's not used it. MG opening up. Could this be the sign that Pepsi's assault is finally happening? Two snipers for the Americans, setting up pretty close to each other. Stormtroopers can... Oh, one gets sniped! One gets sniped. Lovely move right there by Pepsi. MG, though, in a lot of trouble. Needs to get away. Stormtroopers getting very close. Could be launching an assault on the sniper. Yes, there we go. Springing the ambush. Sniper killed in action. Sniper dead, and then they proceed to hit a mine, Enemy stopping that little sneak assault. Oh, stormtroopers down south. Vaga very close for that stormtrooper to die. Another mine goes off. Neighbor rifle fire blows up the cemetery area. Another push from the Americans. MG42 not there to stop them. Storm shot. Still no veteran T. MG42 down. Could be pulled up, but there's no such thing. Sniper firing away. Needs to get away. Ruxuk. Armored car hanging about here, and we are seeing some reconnaissance moves. Enemy unit down. Armored car tries to take it down, but it does manage to get away. And Rifle Engineers running straight into the MG bunker. Also checking the Needler and one of the Needler gunners far away a bit heroically. Not really managing to kill anything. Victory point sort of equal, but Go Pips Lime is definitely not the one winning at the moment.
bad game. I'm not entirely sure what he's talking about. Seems pretty interesting to me. Strong armory getting repaired. Three stormtrooper squads. Bit of this, bit of that. Then blasting away at the fort barracks established in the church. Nibiru for pulling up a bit closer to the front line. Could be dangerous, could be dangerous, or dangerous. Also, Pepsi could be very close to actually calling in a tiger. That would actually work pretty nicely for him, I think. It looks like the first armor has finally arrived for F. A Sherman moving in. A bit of light skirmishing on the flanks. Still no veterans here for the Stug. Veterans here too on the way for the infantry. That's nice, but then also some veterans for the assault guns would be nice. Sherman moving southwards now. Melting the local area, and he's not really using his stormtroopers' infantry, he's rather taking points with his MGs. Not entirely sure that's a good move. Small force moving in towards the north. Stormtroopers have hit the mines. Now we're not doing too well either. And now everybody's on the run from the Sherman. Sturm Geschütz is nowhere nearby to be seen. And the MG42 went down to that nasty Sherman. Stug is actually taking heavy damage from the anti-tank gun. That's going to need some repairs. But of course if the Sherman finds it first that could end up badly. Stormtroopers in a lot of trouble as well. Need to retreat. Although the Veteran 2 just arrives to save them in the nick of time. Stug getting repaired. And the 17th SS was actually one of the few divisions to actually have the Stug 4. Most Stugs were actually the Stug 3, of which close to 10,000 were produced. I think we might have seen 1 to 2 to 3,000 of the Stug 4, not quite nearly as many. Sherman moves in. Stug Veterans 1 moves in. Tries to get some moves, and there we go. Could hit a rear. Yes, indeed. Like this Duke. Sherman is trying to get away. Rifle moving in from the north. Storm is moving in to intercept. Yes, yeah, Duke tried to sort of get the wrong target right there, I think. Ooh! Armor cover in the north getting sticky bombed by the rifleman. Damaged engine. MG needs to get away from the Sherman. Stug moves in, tries to flank, but no, the Sherman quickly moves about the Volcage. Second Nibelwerfer might have been a dear chance to get a second Stug this time around to actually help with the Shermans. There we go, nice hit. Anti tank gun moving up. Oh dear. Oh, misses though, misses. And I fear Nibelwerfer has already fired, so he can't fire a battery mission right there on the anti tank gun. Stop that. Second Nishern moving in, quite fresh for the fight. Rifleman moving into flank. Stug needs to pull away. And there we go. Sticky bomb on the storm shirts, damaging the engine. Sherman pushing on. Hand shots are needed, or a second Stug. Not really looking good for Pepsi, but he can now actually get a tiger. Yes, indeed. Sherman heavily damaged, Duke heavily damaged, who shall win this? Puma getting blasted with anti-tank on fire. Oh, so very close, oh, so very close. Oh, Stu got knocked out and at the very same time the Sherman got up gun. That's really going to be a problem then for Pepsi Sturm Geschutz. Stormtroopers moving in with a Panjax, they might get that Sherman. Are the Sherman getting repaired? Will they get the kill? Main gun destroyed, but the Sherman is still there, it is still operable. Come on, can't they get killed? No, looks like the Sherman might actually be getting away. Oh no. So much poured into it, but the Germans just refuses to die, and it's escaping. 
Oh, the indignity. The 17th says is really not doing well this time around. The storm is ready. And the storm is ready, yes, but we need you to actually kill something. So pretty nice fight right there. Rather than getting plastered with assault rifle fire. Well the Sherman is doing his best to actually support them, but it's not quite enough. Getting a second Stug a bit odd when you know he could be getting a tiger which could help greatly against both armor and infantry. Stormtroops caught right in the center of town, getting suppressed, penned in fact. Nibu of Baras probably going in towards the center of the city. Base is under enemy fire. Yes, indeed. Church getting quite hammered, so the nearby buildings. Germans going straight into the base. That's only a storm gives us to really stop it. And of course, an upgun German is going to be a bit more of a match losing territory. against that storm gives shots. Pantric stormtroopers, though, are moving into assist, and that's definitely going to be needed. And uh, a bombing run getting called in. Damaging the Stug dramatically. Kreitberg's not looking too well either. Pandrex hitting the rear. Kampkraft sends also heavily damaged. ODS German could be going down. Mine's getting spotted. Sherman down. A small victory right there for the 17th, but I fear they might not pull out of this one. Sherman moving forward, although with a gun knocked out. Veterans upgrade number two up for the supply, and that's great. Probably more armor on the way there. Another Sherman. Things are not looking too brave for Pepsi. Pretty pushed back, and he can't just quite seem to get that final push through. That might actually give him the advantage against F once more. MP4 zooming too far ahead, trying to take a point. Again, why you sent in them in, following up infantry, not on their own. They were quickly run off. Also, fun fact for the Commodore, here's two MGs, at least for the Soviets. They're actually going to be five man squads, apparently. Stormtroopers running off against the riflemen. Taking some losses. I was getting suppressed right there. Oh dear. 230 caliber machine guns. That's. Oh dear, Stormtrooper squad lost for Pepsi. And he could be losing another one. Stugman. Oh, he lost the Stormtroopers. He lost two Stormtrooper squads. Veterans, he free riflemen. Nibelwerfer for getting slight losses. Fresh storms is getting called in. Sniper getting hunted down. Oh dear! This is not really looking good for Pepsi at all. Just getting forced back at every point. Again, a medic bunker really would have helped him, I think. Sturmgeschütz moving in to fight the Sherman. More heavy need worth of fire. Ooh, church could be going down. Apparently not. Oh dear, oh dear, I think we might be seeing a bombing run. Oh, the sniper at the same time! Oh dear, that was awfully close. I mean, he only lost one Nibelwerfer, but Christ, had he lost both and a sniper, that would have been horrible. Second show moving up. Still no Tiger, though. Still no Tiger. MG holding out in the cafe. Oh dear, cafe collapsed. Killing the MG squad in it. But again, five man Soviet MG squads apparently. Could probably mean the Soviets, of course, are going to be a bit more aggressive in their usage since they'll be a bit more aggressive and, of course, also a bit better close cover their flanks. 
Anyways, Sherman taking a bit of damage from the stormtroopers now with a mix of American and German anti-tank weapons. Stug moving in. Has to be careful. Stormtroopers might want to move in to support. Looks like the stormtroopers tried to get a sniper and they I'm not sure they got him. I'm not sure they got anything. Except someone dead. And I'm coming in from the north. More need of a fire anti tank and opening up on the stoop again. The Americans are capturing a sector. Ooh, anti tank on getting hammered, so is the church. Armored car going out of control. This church is on fire, I fear. And another one goes down to the sniper, seven kills for this one. These stormtroopers need to get out of there desperately. Quickly. Schnell, schnell. I think he might be losing those as well. Oh dear, Pepsi. And there we go, another stormtrooper squad dead, still no tiger. Not really doing too well for the 17th, not well at all. Getting another Stug again, I have no idea why he doesn't just try to you know, save up resources for a Tiger. Surprises me a bit to be honest. Looks like F has already gotten one squad put together by the medic station, that's great. Three Shermans, that's... It's actually pretty rare you see three Shermans in a game and they're all up gunned. I mean, they're holding up pretty well against the forces of Pepsi. I believe he's only actually lost one Sherman, which is, again, not bad at all. Are Engineers getting trained from what remains of the points. Ford Barracks. Not really the place you want to be though. Condition is pretty rubbish. Stuk's getting ready to move into town. Still not a second level of veterans for them. Stomp is moving in with Panzer X. Will there be need of a fire to support the assault? And Storms was quickly get stopped by the MG from the building right there. Oh yeah, a raid by the Sherman right into the base of Go Pepsi. And there seems to be very little in terms of reaction. Creek bags down. Stormtroopers trying to fight the Sherman, but they're in a bit of trouble. Oh, strafing run gets one, drops behind a panzer schick. And a Tiger finally arrives for Mr. Go Pepsi Live. Cemetery just, I mean, church just keeps us surviving all the need for fire. Airborne drop in, could be stealing the panzer schick. That would be another disaster for Go Pepsi. Tiger tries to place itself on the Panzerich, thus ensuring they can't take it. Pioneers with BAR. Oh dear, looks like the Sherman will actually be getting away. Oh, the inhumanity. Just speed this one up a bit. Anti tank on moving further up forwards. And not two Goliaths for Pepsi. And then he goes Blitzkrieg. Absolutely insane. Anti tank on gets sniped. Note the sniper actually fires a bit faster that way. I mean, all the units fire a bit faster, actually, even infantry. 
And he's moving up. Both collides to the Sherman. And he stops moving them. Come on, Pepsi. Detonate. Enemy unit down. Damage engine on one Goliath. I have no idea what's going on with Pepsi there. Town cleared out. No MGs. Goliath should start moving though. Observation posts report we are losing a Tiger moving forwards. A bit risky though. Come on, use those Goliaths. Sherman out of control. Second Sherman in trouble as well. 33 points left. He's Pepsi's going all in. But again, he's not really getting any usage out of the Goliaths. I think he might be too occupied. In which case, the decision to go for two Goliaths might have been a bit foolhardy. Sherman getting hunted down. In fact, Mr. F has lost both his Shermans. He's down to three infantry units. And again, had he probably been a bit more aggressive and better off in usage of those Goliaths, he might have won this, he, or he might at least have, you know, gotten a bit more damage off without the Tiger being so in a bad condition. Veterans need free riflemen, but he needs to get a point, he needs to get several points. Enemy unit down. Tiger there, but <laughs> not we much else. Veterans need free riflemen moving in against the Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper shoots an armor car needs to pull up. Grenade! Oh dear. Going after one of our munitions points. And suppress a volley. Come on, Pepsi. You can do it, I think. Wait, never mind. Sorry. Armor cars are moving in. Stug moving in. Oh dear, it's just not enough. The rifle stormtroops are pinned down. GG. Not. Oh, come on. Be a bit nice, Mr. F, but there you go. A victory for the Americans. The 17th SS was pushed out of the town they took the day before. So, game over. What can we learn from this? I mean, we saw a pretty unusual start from Pepsi, but I don't really think that was what lost him the game. It was rather his tendency to sort of get units stuck on their own and then sort of lost them. His unit preservation was a bit off this game, I think. A lot of infantry lost for no apparent reason. No medic bunkers, which could have helped against that. He probably also could have done a bit more with barbed wire I think and I think sometimes he was a bit too passive on the other hand F was sort of doing quite nicely aggressive good mining really aggressive good use of his supply up medic station also nice to see although he didn't get as much out of that but again pretty aggressive rather kept Pepsi on his toes and on his back foot thus ensuring he never really pushed out too far but again I think Pepsi could have benefited more from an earlier Tiger some actual more veterans for assault guns Generally, just sort of a few things that sort of seem off for Pepsi, which probably lost them in the game. But there you go. Do hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, why not subscribe or tell your friends? And if you didn't, well, why not send in a replay of your own? This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.